Hey everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Oh baby, we are over 100 likes on the like streak counter now. Thank you everyone for making it possible. Let's keep it going now. We're only 20 away from the massive All Items 2023 Update Edition for the Tier List stream, which I'm going to be doing here on YouTube. I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are as well. That's going to be an exhausting stream, but it should be a lot of fun as well. So here's your meme of the day. Uh, photography of the day submitted here by Le Blue Lemon or Lemon. Title thread was wanting to try, wanted to try engraving some garden stones on my laser cutter. This is how they came out. And I think it actually like looks amazing. Like straight up. I thought it was paint for a second. Then I realized that it was an engraving. Uh, that just looks amazing. Like that looks so cool. I can't believe how well the logo came out and how precise like the laser etching is. It's really, really cool. Thank you very much. Little Blue Lemon and everyone who upvoted that one on this Invicta subreddit, which you can go find over at slash R slash Invicta. Seed day is going to be Delta Delta 2 Lima, uh, Golf Romeo Delta Quebec. We've got great tiers, great damage, okay movement speed, great shot speed, uh, and a useless, uh, useless, possible useless space bar item. But man, also I don't think I've ever seen this haircut before. This looks like the long version of the or this is the short version of that like really messy moppy haircut that Eden sometimes gets. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what can you say about this? There's like literally, I mean, I guess there, there's negative luck maybe, but like that is a very, very, very reach. That's, that's a that's a big stretch there. If we're if the only complaint that we have about a, an Eden start is the fact that our luck is negative, I mean, you know that we're in for a good time here. So we also, I mean, I guess you could say technically speaking, our our Essentially, our passive is kind of, or our, our starting item is kind of useless just because it only gives us a soul heart, which is fine. We would be on one HP, but obviously the missing page number two is nothing to write home about currently anyway. But yeah, I mean, this is not a bad start at all. Like, it's it's actually one of the better starts that we've had this year. <laughs> and we've had some pretty hellacious starts. Um, it, it's it's refreshing to have a good, a good amount of tears. I'm really hoping that we get a bomb, obviously. Uh, obviously, of course, we did get a little bit of a damage upgrade there with the Charm of the Vampire. There's our luck. Okay, well, now we just... Now there's no complaints. Um, there is a... Uh, there's a slight damage upgrade that they built into Charm... Charm of the... You know what? Yeah, we get Pentagram as well there. So, uh, yeah, there is a slight little bit of damage upgrades that that, that have, been, have been cooked into uh, Charm of the Vampire. That was a... I say recent, but that was the most recent patch that we had uh, for Repentance for balancing anyway. And uh, it's it, it's cool that Charm of the Vampire is getting a little bit of extra love because, like, it is a very good item, especially if you have a Red Heart build, which right now that's all we have, obviously. But, um, you know, put, it's stuff like that. That's the kind of improvements that I think a lot of the items in Isaac needs. Um, not this whole, like, you know, oh, let's uh, let, let's just make this uh, range upgrade and a luck upgrade. No, oh, hey, how about uh, we make this one a range upgrade and a luck upgrade? Like, it's like, a, I mean, I, I would like to, like, I would like to have a little bit of a, a more interesting, um, diverse cast of items. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get into the... We're, we're not going to get any of these chests, which is actually, like, kind of a pretty big deal because i mean there's a lot of stuff that we could potentially get there um and we can't even play the sacrifice room uh, obviously that would be a uh it'd be a suboptimal so yes we could attempt to use one of the pills here uh to maybe get like explosive diarrhea or something like that but why ruin a good thing man why you know why why ruin a good thing we've got a good thing going here we could use our our only key to get into the alt path room door but i think i'm gonna just let it rip So we're going to get access to this boss trap room. <clears throat> it's a movement speed upgrade, but I think we got to wait. I would have actually rather just had a regular HP upgrade, to be honest. Uh, but Charm of the Vampire does open up a little bit of sacrifice room play if we do happen to get another HP upgrade. Um, of course, our tears rate is amazing. Our DPS right now is absolutely phenomenal for where we are on, on floor two. I mean, think about... <coughs> excuse me. Think about how often... We see ourselves in, in an Eden start where we're like, you know, not only are we having like one HP, but like we're also having to having to sit there and and fight enemies for way longer than we really should be, um, you know. And this is one of those times where where we're our base stats are actually exceeding where we normally would be on any given run to the point where like things are going to get a little bit less 
challenging for the most part. We can stay pretty safe. We can even get risky. Even on one HP, we can still kind of get risky here. Um, in terms of positioning, I'm not talking about like, you know, oh, we're just going to take a devil deal and just, you know, just die. Like, you know, I don't know. We, we, can, we can be riskier with our with our positioning and our, our movement, but we still have to be very careful, obviously, with our HP. I'm not going to be taking Lacrophagy, as I don't think that Lacrophagy is a very good item. For this build, anyway. I'd rather I'd rather have the range. I don't want my tears to slow down. And are we really going to go through another floor with zero bombs? I refuse to take any pills. I, I do not want to ruin this start. The only thing carrying us through the start right now is our is like the sheer amount of DPS that we've got. And uh, yep, looks like Team Angel Deal, you're up because uh, unless there's a very cheap bomb. Not, I'm, the, the movement speed upgrade right now, to me, is not essential. Again, our damage is so strong that I don't really have too many qualms about fighting really anyone right now. Um, especially now that we have this Devil card, obviously. Yeah, look at that. We're just chunking, chunking Dingle down. No problem at all. We get eye drops, which is going to give us a tears up. I am going to reject Stanley here just because I don't think that... Uh, I mean, we didn't get any HP, so we would have to get either nine lives or something that grants us a soul heart or red heart in order for us to actually be able to benefit from the devil deal, which, you know, we, we can't. So um, now I will go back and I will go... Secret might be up there. Um, I will go fight the boss trap room because I do want a movement speed upgrade. If we went to the shop and got a soul heart or something like that, we still would not be able to... Uh, we wouldn't be able to come in here. You have to have one heart and only one heart. Now, turdlings is not what I wanted to see. But thankfully, we've got the we've got the uh, fire rate to deal with it. The danger in here is not the turdlings necessarily. It's the spikes in the corner, as stupid as that sounds. Gotta wait for this... There we go. Wait for the floor to clear, clear up. Spikes in the corner are the only thing that can kill us in one shot in this room, so... But thankfully, we got a movement speed upgrade. And we did get a soul heart, but still no bomb. That is actually amazing. That's two floors now. We've not gotten a bomb. So... You have a soul heart, at least, so we will have one for our angel deal. Not that we need one anyway, of course, but... I'm going to skip going to the shop because we really can't afford anything, to be honest. Um, unless it was like a half-price bomb or something. And, uh, yeah, we need some we need some bombas. Necesito mucho bombas. Or maybe it's necesitas. Mas bombas. People are saying that I need to start... I need to start putting some more... Emphasis on the Portuguese Moss Pit. And I'm going to say that I, as much Spanish as I do not know, I know even less Portuguese. <laughs> that is, uh, bien, bien videos. I think that is the only Portuguese word that I I badly know. And Isaac's Fork here, which is going to give us more Red Heart regeneration, but unfortunately we just don't have the HP for it. So at a very weird, strange reversal, we actually don't need stats, and we currently need... Uh, red hearts because we could do a lot with the amount of regen that we've got we've, we could do a whole lot with the uh, with sacrifice rooms with temperance machines I mean you name it we could do it uh, but the problem of course right now is that we just, we lack the red hearts I mean one is good enough to do most of everything that I was talking about speaking of temperance machine that'd be pretty good here for us we do finally get a bomb uh, the Holy Crown, it's going to be a while before we gain any benefit out of that, so I'm just not even going to worry about it. Plus, again, Isaac's Fork is actually pretty good for us here. Um, some people were asking about the trinkets and uh, and everything. Yes, trinkets will be, uh, in terms of the tier list, trinkets will be included in the tier list. It's all items. Every single item in Isaac, it's going to be included. I wasn't sure if it was going to be there. Really? Okay, now that one kind of surprises me. We get another tears up. Mom's perfume showing up again. I think this is the second time in a row that we've gotten Mom's perfume. Um, of course, I don't remember what build we had, or I, I remember what build we had yesterday, but I don't remember exactly what we uh, like all the items. Yeah, all trinkets are going to be included on that list. I may the only the only 
The only sort of uh, stipulation there is that it is possible whatever list I end up using on Tier Maker, it may not include the trinkets, which means that I'll just have to simply rank the trinkets separately. Um, but they'll still go off of the same criteria as all the other items in, in the game. So looking forward to doing that, of course. If you want to see that sooner, click the like button, leave a comment down below. All that stuff is the best way to support my channel. And uh, thank you, everyone, who continues to do so. It's really, truly a spectacle of YouTube at this point with how just how long the amount of support I've gotten on YouTube has has really endured. I'm going to bomb here because I do want something. Something is anything is better than uh, than mom's bottle of pills right now. Trinket smelter is certainly going to be pretty nice. The troll bomb. I think what we do is we just simply do this so we can maybe 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 get that golden chest. We need to get two more cents, which we definitely can do uh, just by getting this Getting a heart. Okay. So we're going to need one more scent. And you never know. This golden chest could be pretty OP. Unless we get like a nickel or something in here. Or a dime. That would be really lucky. Okay. Okay. And of course there's no... No one to kill in here, so we have to hope that we get some kind of healing here from uh, Dark One. The Dark One is feared, and that's not a good thing. Of course, that is the that's the risk of using a fear shot, fear effect like uh, Mom's Perfume. But I mean, you're not going to pass up the. Not only is it a huge tears up for you, but it also breaks the tears cap, which is really really good. And you know, and fear it can be a decent crowd control. You just have to be careful with just how erratic it makes bosses. You finally get an HP upgrade, and we get our first chance for the Devil Deal. And look at this. We get Holy Grail as well, which is going to give us another HP upgrade. I'm not going to bomb um, the... I'm not going to bomb the Angel Statue. Even if we had a bomb, I mean, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bombed. We get a dime. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right. Let's get this. Wheel of Fortune... So I'm going to place the Wheel of Fortune card next to the Spike Rocks here. Just so we have something to bomb additionally to the Spike Rocks. We get our bomb back and a half half red heart. Uh, we did get a key, so at least we got our keys back. We can go into the curse room now and maybe, maybe, maybe get another upgrade. If we're lucky. I don't really want Modeling Clay. Modeling Clay gives you... It, it, it does help you, to be sure. It does help you, allow, help you out. Uh, but I don't like the trolling... That it can do, and we do have a sacrifice room, but unfortunately, there's no many, there's no more hearts that we can use on this floor. So, there's not really much we can do here. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to, I'd love to play that, but we just don't, we, we don't have enough red hearts on the, on the ground to actually make it worthwhile. Um, secret room, I don't know where our secret room is. To be honest, can't be there because there's spikes. I've already tried the most obvious spots. Is it over here? I'm gonna give it one more go and then yeah, there it is. That's a very evil spot for the uh for the secret room. Gotta say. So there's the secret room. Super secret room. It wasn't in the obvious spot again, it's actually probably here. And yeah, we got our bomb back and a soul heart, so definitely worth it there. We can go back, play the uh, temperance machine down to zero hearts, and that's going to also give us the benefit of having the... Uh... All right, so we get a speed upgrade, and we are just going to head on to do, 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 do zone. It took us there. It took us a long, long time to get there, but we got there. That was a great dodge. That was a difficult dodge. We would not have done that had we not just gotten a speed upgrade uh, with Blood Bag. Anyway, uh, just a just a maintenance upgrade, a, a business or a update, not upgrade. Um, those of you who are part of the of the Patreon rewards, 
Um, for those of you who signed up for the Sinvicta keychains, those rewards are going out this month. I've already sent out uh, some of them, not all of them, because we don't have the address of everybody on file yet. Uh, but those of you who didn't know, um, I am in the process of upgrading the Patreon. I've talked about it a couple of times now, but I've uh, now that the artist that I'm using, not not uh, not Alex, I'm using someone else to help me uh, redo the Patreon and the look of it. We're going to be adding the extra tiers on there, and uh, we do have a new tier of twenty-five dollars, which is admittedly that's a that's a lot of money these days. Um, but if you sign up for that tier, you also get a guaranteed brand new Sinvicta keychain. It's a different type of merch I've never tried before. They're very, very cool, very high quality. Uh, and on top of that, to sort of incentivize people to stay at that level, uh, once a month, I'll be, I'll be also sending out a golden signature limited edition uh, keychain, which is going to be more like a collectible than anything. I don't expect people to use these, but they are still keychains. And uh, those will be going out. One of those will be going out a month. And then the longer you're signed up at that tier, the higher the chances that you get one. Um, the gold, the first golden one has already gone out uh, to the winner. And basically what I do is I take everyone's name who is signed up on that on that tier level and then spin the wheel. And then the, the amount of months that they're signed up accumulates over time. And that just gives them more... Uh, that just gives them more slots on the wheel. So the, the higher the chances. That way, eventually, everyone will have one um, until I run out. And then once I run out, then that's it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make any more of the golden ones. Maybe I'll make, like, a second edition one or something if, a lot, if enough people want it. Um, but anyway, yeah, check it out. And you still get all the you still get the benefits. You still get to join the Discord. You still get to have your name read out uh, at the end of every Isaac video whenever, we, uh, whenever your name gets put on the list. Um, I have a Patreon manager who helps me set up. He helps me put the lists in a... Uh, in a uh, Google sheet and then we divide up all the users amongst how many you know how many days are of the month and then we just divide them up there so check it out patreon.com slash Invicta the, the the graphical updates and stuff have not been they're not live yet because like we're, me and the artist are still working on it um, but you can but there, you can start getting the rewards immediately and I've already sent out uh, some of the keychains not all of them but uh, some of them so patreon.com slash Invicta and thank you everyone who's been there since the beginning. We still have people who's, who've been signed up since 2014. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Uh, and speaking of the Patreon and Discord really quickly, if you want to have the cheapest and easiest access to the Discord and you don't want to give any money to YouTube or Amazon via uh, YouTube memberships or, or uh, Twitch memberships, then you can do so Patreon. It's actually it's actually way cheaper. You can join for as little as a dollar and uh, join it without having to sign up for a YouTube membership or on uh, Twitch. So I just wanted to throw that out there as we keep on going on this run here. We get Perfection and the Book of Revelations. Yeah, I guess. And no, if we smelt the Perfection, it wouldn't matter. If we get hit once, Perfection's gone, but I guess we can smelt it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, the smarter thing to do would have been to not smelt perfection and just wait because of that right there. This is kind of the reason why I didn't want to fight uh, Gabriel. Gabriel's no slouch, man, but our DPS is still pretty good. It's not the best anymore. You see that the game is really caught up to our power curve. Because that's soul heart. And yeah, and you're seeing how often he's attacking here because he's feared. Instead of just chasing around Isaac aimlessly around the room. Another kind of a pro tip here. If you're ever going to fight Gabriel, don't bomb the fires until after you're done with it. Because you can actually run him into the fires. I say thank you to the trinket smelter. Okay. And I'm going to avoid trying to use the Book of Revelations until we absolutely need to. Um, or if we get down to, like, you know, the mom levels or Stanley levels on uh, in uh, Shoal and stuff. Blue Chub is feeling kind of blue right now. We definitely want to start getting some damage upgrades again. That would be nice. 
It's unfortunate that we got teleported to the Devil Deal uh, because we know that there's just nothing in there that we want. We're not going to take Pound of Flesh. And Black Powder, admittedly, is a is a pretty good item, but I would I don't want to lose our Angel Deal chance just because of Black Powder. Like, it needs to be a better item for me to sacrifice the, the Angel Deal chance outright. So I'm not going to use the Book of Revelations because, again, I do not want a... Uh, I do... I do not want a horseman to show up here. Get the teardrop charm, which is going to double the chance that we have of applying a tear effect that is luck based. And I don't know, I don't remember if the fear shot from uh, from mom's perfume is luck based or not. I think it is. But it procs pretty regularly, so it'd be good if we had like tough love or something like that. Or a holy light. It also be pretty good. This has a key. The boss rush most likely will not happen, um, which is disappointing after the the very good start that we had. Kind of floundered around on that last floor looking for uh, you know playing those machines and stuff, and uh, that cost us a cost us a lot of time. Yeah, I'd rather have Rotten Penny. And yeah, there you go. There's the uh, there's the map, everybody. We did it. High five, high five. Congrats. On God, on God. Fr, fr. No cap. Should have known that the secret room wasn't there, thanks to that room. And it's also not north of here because we can tell there's a steel block that is blocking the uh, potential access to the secret room. So that should be a dead giveaway that there's no secret room attached to this run to this room. There's only two spots that the secret room could be. It'd be north and south of here. And both are blocked off by these by these two blocks here. So if you ever needed an indicator to figure out if you are looking at a room that has a secret room attached to it or not, just look at the look in the middle of the walls. If you see anything there, and I mean anything, um, like a block, like a like spikes, like pots, rocks, anything, that means that there is no door there at all. Nice hero font card, which is gonna top off our HP, which is looking very solid. Wouldn't mind a sacrifice room at this point. We've got a HP generator now, so we definitely want to turn that into some value. Yeah, I wanted to give the Patreon a little love here, and uh, I think that the, the keychains are really, really cool. Um, some people, some lucky members of the Mosh Pit on Twitch uh, actually received some, and that's the only time I'm giving them away. The, they are Patreon exclusive. You can only get them there. Hence the exclusive tag. Uh, but I did give away a couple of them for the monthly Mosh Pit giveaway that I do every month on Twitch for my birthday month, which was last month. And uh, a couple of lucky Mosh Pitters got them. And uh, people were sharing pictures and stuff of them. And, uh, like, it, they're really cool. Like, they're really, really neat. These stores have been... These stores have been something else. We actually don't want to bomb the keeper because we don't want an increased chance to, to the get to the devil deal at this point um, because we want a boosted chance on the next floor. So as we get some moolah, we get some flies courtesy of the rotten penny. I will say after playing crab champions for a while now, um, even though I haven't been putting out any more videos of the game uh, here on the channel, there's a lot of things in Crab Champions that I wish Isaac did. Um, and we and we can never, ever expect it, because as we talked about last time, there's not going to be any more balance patches for this game, at least according to if, if Ed and Ben are going to be believed. So what that means is that like there's, there's no more item changes, period. But one thing I would love to see in the next Isaac game would be something like crab champions where they have items that benefit you if you do certain things that are kind of like mini challenges so for example there's an item in in crab champions that increases your damage after every floor that you you go through now obviously the floors are way more uh, numerous in crab champions than they are in isaac but it got me thinking i'd love to see an item that was like hey every time you clear a room without getting hit you gain 0.2 damage or you have a chance to gain 0.2 damage or you know for every fifth shot that you fire you deal critical damage 
We already know that the game has a critical damage. Uh, excuse me, monster. You have no HP, sir. You literally have no HP. Thank you. And we got a hit because of that. So we didn't get the devil deal, which is good because I didn't want one. And uh, Cat Nine Tails is excellent. We needed a damage upgrade. I would love to see something like that. Something where it, it was like, you know, every four shots, Isaac has a chance to deal with critical damage. Um, every room, you get a random stat up. Not like, nothing too crazy. Um, but it, just something just something simple like that. Um, there's a small, small, small chance uh, to get... There's a, there's a perk called Scavenger. Yeah, let's stop taking... Stop taking dumb damage here. There's a perk called Scavenger in the game where you have a very small chance to produce an item, a random item, uh, when destroying rocks. And that sort of thing I would love to see in Isaac. It'd be like, how cool would that be? How, how much more incentivized would you be to use bombs or use kamikaze or use Stompy even to say like, hey, I have a, I have a 1% chance to get an item, a random item out of a, out of a rock. Um, you know, or any any destructible debris in Isaac. I think that could, that that sort of stuff would be lots of fun. It would be really dynamic, and it would just be cool. Um, there's greed perks in Crab Champions, which have very very good offensive benefits and very very bad negative uh, consequences for taking them. Some of them can be pretty good. Some of them can be pretty bad. One of them is a uh, I don't remember the the exact name of it, but one of them is a greed perk that. Essentially, it will double your health, but it also greatly increases the health of enemies, of every enemy, including bosses. So, you know, you could have, if you wanted to do something like that in Isaac, you could say it halves all damage, kind of like the wafer effect. It would it would have all damage, uh, but also every enemy gets, you know, gets tankier, gets, gets harder to beat, gets sturdier. And I think that that kind of stuff is, if, if I were to do something... If I was on the uh, the game design or game development side of Isaac or like making the next Isaac game or something like that, I would want to see stuff like that <clears throat> where the game is going to reward me for playing for playing well. And that's something that the that Isaac doesn't really do a whole lot of. And I and anyone who's like, "Oh, well you got devil deals." Uh, that's not that's not a payoff in my opinion. How many times have we seen blank devil deals just give you nothing? Uh, you know, there or, or just have like uninteresting or bad items in there. You know, th that's the ultimate thing. Is like you, like it's very difficult to go through any, to go through any, um, any level on Isaac without taking damage. And then for all that to to go to a devil deal that gives you nothing essentially is sort of soul crushing. Like I'm not saying every item pedestal has to be an absolute banger, but it would be nice to to be assured. Man, these item rooms have been. Speaking of bad, it would be nice to be reassured that we have um, that we have a chance to get some kind of guaranteed upgrade. That's the thing when we're talking about Crab Champions and really any other roguelite that that exists out there other than Isaac. You know, you have the you have a a chance to really, really. You're always going to get some kind of improvement when you do stuff in in other roguelites. <clears throat> you know that your power curve is going to go up somehow, some way. I don't feel like fighting Uriel. We got nothing there out of our out of our hearts, and that's fine. Uh, we could actually go to the dark room. We have a lot of HP here. We would be skipping the womb. We'd be skipping the womb and Shoal. Where's our, where's our fool card? There it is. We also, I think, lose an Eden token because we'd be skipping Mom's heart too. I swear, I run in that fire one more time. See what we get here. I mean, we have a ninety, or sorry, we have an eighty-one percent chance to get an angel deal here. Well, to get some kind of deal. If it's something amazing, we'll definitely go and maybe just port straight to the lamb. 
so we can start getting rid of these red hearts for you know w items but that's anyway that's it's a point that i made before it's just that like i want i, I would love to be somehow rewarded like guaranteed be rewarded and that, that's the reason why i really enjoy crab champions is that every single island you get you, that you clear every single zone that you clear it, you get you get some kind of perk you get some kind of upgrade and i would love to see something like that in isaac you know now yes it does you do get you do get kind of powerful pretty quickly has to be expected but the game also scales up with you as well which is really cool so maybe next Wednesday we'll do a Crab Champions challenge for, for Isaac. We're not going to have any, there'll be no passive items at all, except they're given to us by way of like, you know, we clear, basically like we clear a room, we clear a room and we get, we get a random item, something like that. That might, that might be, that might be something we might do for Wacky Wednesday. We get Judas's freaking shadow, which I will take. I wouldn't mind turning into Black Judas either. That would help us out on damage. Uh, not that our damage is terrible by any means, but like I wouldn't mind being Black Judas at this point. The moon card here. Uh, we could actually take the Soul of the Lost, and that would give us, I believe, that would give us one of those Devil Deals in the Dark Chest for free. It's 50-50 game. All right, let's see here. We got Abba Dabba Ding Dong, D Bizzle, the Shovel, and Brother Bobby. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take D Bizzle. I'm gonna use the Soul of the Lost and grab Abba Dabba Ding Dong. Here we go. So we still have our, we still have the damage upgrade here. Now we could also take the other ones and turn into Black Judas. If we find a bunch of red hearts or we find a bunch of soul hearts on the ground, that is something that I may end up doing. It wouldn't be wise to do it before lamb, though, if oh, I thought that that shot was going to dissipate. It wouldn't be wise to do so before lamb. Of course, we get this room. Okay, that was... I, I was moving at light speed. I don't know how I could have avoided that. We may just, we may like just end up just dying and turning into black juice anyway. This room is actually ridiculous. Dude, the, m the speed that we get sucked into these mega fatties. I, this one's not dead, excuse me. I thought that one died. Okay, so this room was an absolute total disaster. I think for now we're just going to stick with Eden. Okay, there we go. Alright, now that we've gone every single wrong way, let's go to the only way we can go. Thank goodness we got Juice's shadow, cause man. You have the negative along with uh, the missing page number two, dude. I mean, I did this to myself. But we shouldn't be taking this much damage. This is actually a little ridiculous. I don't actually know if missing page number two and negative stack on each other for the Necronomicon effect. I'm pretty sure they don't. I could be wrong. Getting, we got plenty of bombas now.
Grim is also quite terrible if you don't have a lot of fire rate or piercing shots. Some kind of like AOE, like uh, Jacob's Ladder or something. This is a pretty difficult room to leave without taking damage here. And we're just going to keep getting these spiders. Why the spider went that way. It wasn't fear, that was a weird pathing there. You're hearing uh, and seeing uh, Charm of the Vampire going off and healing us, but unfortunately, obviously, we don't have any red hearts to heal, so I saw that extra step. When you have both of the horsemen, not only are they feared, but charging in opposite directions simultaneously, that's when that's when it hits the fan real quick. Got to get one of these wars out of here. There we go. Th this has been one of the worst chests I think I've seen in a while. So far, anyway. We we're, we're getting some ridiculous rooms. Yeah, see, you're... What you're seeing here is fear just making war just flip out. Uh, I'll take Hollow Heart. It's fine. We get Big Horn. Really turned into a struggle bus of a run here towards the in the dark chest. I mean, again, I did it to myself. I didn't think that we would have this much difficulty though, but I also was not anticipating these this level of ridiculous rooms that we're seeing thank goodness we got the book the book of revelations the fool card which is yep the fool. i mean at least it helps us get back to where we where we came from that still feels like it's the right way to go i just don't i just I think i just took a took a wrong turn took us invicta turn This is this is this room's another ridiculous room where you have to, especially with fear, you've got to either rush dark one down or get ready to dodge in total darkness. He stop. Look at he turned around there at the very end when he was over on that side. Zero items, by the way, have spawned since the <laughs> the start here. Okay. I'm not going to anticipate anything here at this point, but we are going to use bombs, but this has been a pretty awful dark chest here. I mean, we haven't even seen any red hearts that we haven't even seen any red hearts that dark bomb can get. We just go in and start nuking with bombs. Of course, by that I mean I shoot the bomb away from where that where I'm intending them to go. I don't know how we've managed to DPS them down evenly here. We're currently out of bombs. Okay. We freaking got there. Man. That was... That was... Uh, that was... That was... All right. Second seed is going to be uh, Golf November Papa Alpha... Uh, eight one Mike Foxtrot. All right. So we have a we do have a hollow heart here. Um which is gonna benefit Eden actually a little bit more than Black Judas. 
I think at this point we just hold on to Black Judas for now. Although, well, that being, it's hard. It's hard to do that because like we do have the Book of Revelations, and that would help us out greatly. So, what I'm trying to get as we need to find a we need to find a good switching point over to Black Judas because our 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 essentially our damage right now is still good, but it's not overwhelmingly good. So I think I think swapping it over here with the uh, with the sacrifice room now and just turning into Black Judas now is just going that's just going to rip the Band-Aid off, and we can start the next floor as Black Judas, while still having you know a pretty decent amount of damage that we can get from that, and uh, we will lose a little bit of tears rate, but that's okay. If you're wondering why, if you're wondering how come I'm not using the Book of Revelations yet is because I do not want to, um, I do not want a horseman on this floor. Let's go ahead and get this done now. Give me Steven. Right next to the bomb rock. How did that not blow up the bomb rock? We got this lover's card here. I'm going to use the lover's card probably for the sacrifice room. Red hearts are a little bit more valuable than soul hearts currently for that. Uh, we'll take mom's kizzle. We get mom. We get the mom transformation. Let's go over here. Hoping for the compass. Strength card. That I mean, that will give us another way. Oh my god, we got it. <laughs> Woo! Can I call him or what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Did you do it, D-Bizzle? No, no, no. Okay. First we get the body. Uh, uh, we I mean, we have to take it. And we get redemption. I mean, now, now we pretty much have to stay as Eden until the next floor for the devil deal. Or we could go for an angel deal again. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Sure. Well, Steven, you can accidentally come down with us. Curse of the blind. Womp, 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 womp. The compass is going to give us some mapping anyway, which is great. Thankfully, that that heart healed right before that uh, swarm of flies got to us. And Charm of the Vampire is just going ham city here. And so is Isaac's Fork, too. I can't forget about Isaac's Fork. Skip the item room here for the planetarium chance, and also because Curse the Blind, yada, yada, yada. And yeah, look at that. Hey, we've regen so much health this episode. So we, what we can do is we can walk into the Devil Deal and then just walk out, or I can get rid of this HP um, and get us closer to Black Judas. So I'm just going to do that. Death's Touch is great. All the Void is also fantastic. I'm going to get Leviathan. Uh, I don't want any more HP. <laughs> we actually have too much HP now. I don't want to turn... I mean, I want to turn into, into Black Judas, but the game is like, hey, hey, kids, you want to have some, uh, you want to have some more HP? Well, here you go. Thankfully, thanks to the compass, we will be able to tell immediately whether or not we have a uh, planetarium. And of course, I mean it's not like it's not like Death Touch and Maw of the Void are bad. I mean they're top tier items here, but come on. I mean <laughs> we've been we've been trying hard to get to turn into Black Judas and we just can't. Proptosis. Proptosis plus Maw of the Void equals L O L me fallen oh my goodness now the damage is starting to pop off 
going to actually reject here. So we do get a damage upgrade. I mean, we already have we already have fear effects, so two spooky's not going to matter. Damn. Not a huge damage upgrade, but 12 Isaac. We can use the soul of Isaac in here to go through some more books. We do get bookworm, or we can wait until we get to the devil deal. I'd rather just cycle more books. The shadows. We could take the satanic Bible, which actually is totally fine with me. Speaking of that, there's the Bible. Satanic Bible. <clears throat> the reason why this is great is because it benefits it benefits Dark Judas even more, and on top of that, this can get us there and get rid of these HP the, the HP upgrades that we actually don't want anymore. Ironically, Seek Room's there, by the way. Right, yeah. So we're guaranteed Devil Deal items from here on out, thanks to the boss. Uh, boss drops, courtesy of the Satanic Bible, which I know, I know, I've been on record for saying that I don't think that the Satanic Bible is fantastic anymore, but for the purposes, I mean, every, like, specifically speaking, almost every item in Isaac does have a situational purpose that it can be like goaded like super unbeatable like there's no there's just there's just best in slot there's no there's no other item that you would want and this is one of those cases where we do want to have some way of getting rid of our red hearts um quickly so we can you know turn into into black judas now obviously the quickest way to do that is just to simply die i don't necessarily want to do that just in case the you know something terrible happens um why well, i'm not letting d bizzle grab any of these hearts because i don't want him to drop anything down here now, if there's a sacrifice room on this floor, I definitely would do it. But there's not. So, and we're still waiting for our devil deal. And now that we have the satanic Bible, that's going to give us another avenue of getting rid of these red hearts or soul hearts that we just don't want. But we are pretty, we're pretty dang tanky. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm refusing. I know what you're doing here, game. You're trying to make me look stupid. All right. I don't need your help to do that. Guppy's hairball, okay. Redemption's not going to be happy with us, but you know what? We don't care about redemption. We don't need no redemption. We just need we just need to turn into Black Judas. That's all we want. Press the XL. No sacrifice room to be seen, unfortunately. Um, we could get out of boss rush via via Black Judas. Just by simply dying when we go in there, but I think it's smarter just to get the full card. We we are turning into Black Judas on this floor. In fact, we should do it like ASAP because we're just wasting we're just wasting charges here. Unless we find the full card, then we can get out. Also, what is what, how, how did how did going west here end up end up being a dead end? Okay, there's a full card. That's excellent. I'm going to take the full card and we're just going to go into I'm going to use Satanic Bible once so we can trigger the Devil Deal item off of the first boss. Obviously for the mom fight it's not going to matter. And I'm going to save the charges and then we are going to turn into Black Judas. It, even if I have to end up killing Isaac here uh, deliberately we're going to turn into Black Judas on this floor. Because we can end this floor as Black Judas and also full HP with, how, with just how big it is. I didn't mean to pick up that soul heart. And I am going to take Jello again just to get rid of the red hearts. The nuke mom here. Didn't get a devil deal. Heck, point, fizzle. The fool. Okay, now all we got to do is turn into Black Judas. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the curse room. Or do it with the, uh, or do it with a demon judgment too. Of course, he pays out instantly. Riley the Leviathan, so this will this will take us back into this room here, and then we can get the mark. You see that we lost a massive amount of tears. 
uh, but we gain an absolute butt ton of damage and that's exactly the reason why we wanted to turn to black juice especially especially since we have d bizzle uh the satanic bible and on top of that now we also have tech point five maul the void proptosis mm. life is a good man Go D Bizzle, go for it. And this is the reason why I wanted to turn into Judas now. Again, look how much look at look how much area we have to cover. Look how much ground we have to go over in order to get where we want to go on this on this floor. That is so many charges on the Satanic Bible. So many possible red hearts. Um, there, I mean, we're there's no way that we leave this floor without having full HP. There's just no way. A random hero font card, which I will take as well. He's going to give us another full charge on the Satanic Bible. And all these charges would have been wasted had I waited to go into the boss fights uh, until, you know, after going into, like, the item room and stuff. So that's where that's where the full card acquisition really, really starts to pay off there because we don't have to worry about waste. You don't have to worry about wasting uh, energy charges, even with the battery. Like, we have the battery, but that's still a lot of wasted charges and effort and these item rooms have been item rooms have been something else man we don't have any wasted effort we don't have any wasted charges full charge there the battery does help our our efficiency out as well with our active item <laughs> thank goodness we've had somewhat decent devil deal drops Our deck is fine. Get a full card. I mean, I guess we can take this one. Uh, sure. Stopwatch. We don't really need the stopwatch, to be honest. I guess I'll take it. Blue map is going to show us the location of the secret room and super secret rooms. Honestly, I think we can go fight Old Beastie. We're just going to go fight Old Beastie. Why not? Why not, you know? I think that with the way that this run ended up curving out, I think it's I think it's pretty... We're, we're going to be okay. Our, our, tiers dam our tiers rate is not fantastic. Um, obviously, because of the uh, the transformation to, into Dark Judas, but I think we're still going to be okay. I'm actually going to let this hit me so I get rid of that Bone Heart. Bone Heart's just a waste there. Ooh, what? There's no door there? Excuse me? Pardon me? Stars card. We can use that on the next floor. Um, there's no reason for us to go into the item room here because it's going to be a blind item for our second item. And we can simply just go into the ascent and the item will be revealed as we make our way up towards Mother. That is some, some dominant, dominant HP there. Obviously, these bombs are going to be very useful as well because we can use them against Beastie. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's something that I don't see enough people do either, which is, is use bombs against Beast. Um, didn't mean to buy that key, but here we are. Oh, wow, two full cards. I'll, that's even better because that, that's going to allow us to skip two of the rooms for the Ascent. All right, we're going to go up, up, and away. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Actually, swallowing, swallowing the hollow heart. Swallowing hollow heart was kind of bad because this is going to give us a lot of bone hearts that we really don't want. So what we need to do is we actually need to take damage here and get rid of it. So Because we don't want the bone hearts to pile up. I mean, they're technically, I guess, the same as a, as a soul heart. But I prefer to have Black Soul Arts. Uh, yeah, Curse the XL. We're going to use one of our full cards now. So that allows us to skip two floors without us having to really worry about looking for the entrance. Uh, 
Again, I'm just trying to get rid of the uh, bone hearts here. Pay, pay no mind. Let me forget my bombs now. And what we'll do is we'll probably end up using the fool card for the first for uh, basement one. Yeah, and I don't mind using, I don't mind losing those bone hearts. Keep saying it over and over again, but uh, we got three cracked keys because I think that was a booster pack. Look at this, we get ourselves a, uh, got ourselves a little, uh, little crawl space here with SMB Superfan. Wow. A huge, that's actually a pretty big deal for us. We do get depression because if you're wondering how come this door is locked, it's because we remember we didn't get a, we didn't get access to that uh, item room the first time around. And the item still waits for you in there, which is kind of nice. And here we can just simply go That's a very, very fast ascent, and I'll definitely take that. Wow. Random tears upgrade too. That I mean that's really the only thing that was hurting us on this run was lack of tears because of the Black Judas transformation. And uh here we are. <laughs> Alright. Well, this should be a pretty easy stomping of Dogma and uh old Beastie here. Mostly due to the fact that we have uh the, the Dark Judas multiplier plus Proptosis and uh Maul of the Void. I'm trying to stay as close as possible to Dogma here just so we get that juicy, juicy proptosis damage with uh, Maw of the Void. And down goes Dogma. Yeah, very interesting run. I mean, we used the, the dart chest skip. Obviously not ideal. It wasn't a great use of it. it. It made sense to me at the time because, like, we were at, like, 31 minutes and just now it just, it just hitting Mom, essentially. Uh, but that... That Soul of the Lost really kind of put me over the edge. Where did those tears come from? Is that the... Are those the intruder tears that are falling back down to Earth? Is that what I'm seeing? That yeah, must be. It was. I know it wasn't from Famine, that's for sure. Lots of damage here on Pestilence. Lost the Holy Mantle, that's fine. Again, staying as close range as possible. It's not a. It, it's not easy. It's not easy to do. You got to really have a, 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 a confident gut check. Okay. But man, does it pay off with that damage if you have proptosis, maw the void, especially. Now, do we have to get that close range? No, but it accelerates the damage that we've got in a big way. Okay. Okay, I am I am unable to... I don't know where our hitbox is at this point, now that we've lost our head. Because in my mind, I wasn't that close to, the, to death. Or war. I do kind of... I do kind of hate how... I hate and love at the same time, I guess. It's not fair to little sissy that the intruder spider can just walk around and bounce around freely, but she's got to hang out in the lava. What's up with that game? What's up with this? What's up with this preferential treatment to spiders? Our little sissy, she she can't do that. She has to stay in the in the in the hot lava. That's no that's nowhere for a spider to be. But then you got the intruder. You got this Joker just jumping around in the air. I mean, the intruder's fine, don't get me wrong, but like, you know, I mean, he ain't no sissy. He ain't no little sissy. Obviously our damage is gonna suck right now because we are super far away. Now we're just going to drop the bombs here. Now remember, we don't have the Polaroid. We gave it up to get into, uh, into the ascent. Not that it's gonna matter though, just because we're doing so much damage. Down goes Beastie. Thank you for watching everyone. 
We did it. We did hit 100 likes on the like streak counter. And let's see if we can get that one up to 101. With this video alone, I would love to see that. And let's start this like streak again and get it up and going for the Ultimate Items Tier List 2023 edition. And again, like I said during this episode, go check out my Patreon campaign, patreon.com slash Invicta. Uh, there's no pictures of the keychains yet. That's going to be, th those will be up on the website as soon as the, uh, the new graphical upgrades go live on Patreon. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great start to your awesome weekend here. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Dakota Taylor, Kaizo Blades, and Langwart. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com. Slash Invicta.